and welcome back to the crochet crowd i'm your host mikey you ever have holes like this in the center of your crochet projects maybe a top of a hat maybe abigurumi or anything that goes in a round circle just like so some patterns it's okay but some things like on the top of a hat it's not really that cool so you can eliminate that by getting rid of that so how you got that is like you chained four you created the ring and then you went around it the problem is is that when you chain that four that first chaining kind of creates the circumference where everything goes around you can eliminate that by using magic circles and this is a magic circle here which I'll show how to use this here this yarn here is going to the yarn ball okay so your hook would be up here and once you get all of the stitches on board all you have to do is just take this other string that's hanging out and I'll show you how to do that and we'll just have to pull it shut and it brings that whole center into an absolute close like just like that and then you can slip stitch it as normal and voila you have like the perfect centerpiece for your hat or project whatever you're working on. So in today's tutorials we're going to be doing magic circles. For double crochet all I want you to do is that I want you to take the yarn string in the front of your hand just like so and I want you to grab the yarn that's leading toward the yarn ball and wrap it around your finger and when you come up over the top of your finger just let it cross over just like that. I want you to take your crochet hook now and just come up underneath the first one and grab the second and you will notice that I'm pinching everything down. My hand is all pinching. And I want to pull it through one more time. And now I want to chain up two. One and two. And I want to double crochet around the center of this ring, capturing in this straggler piece as we go. So it's just double crochet as normal. I'm going to assume that you know how to double crochet at this point. And I'm just going to go eight times. or more. It's up to you, whatever the pattern calls for. So I'm just going around this ring instead of chaining a certain amount and forming a ring. And now I'm ready, so I'm just going to pull this out just to make it easier to show you. This is the yarn that was started that we started with. We're just going to grab that and pull it shut, just like that. And it brings the center to an absolute close. We put our hook back in and we can slip stitch as normal to finalize your circle like that and then we just go in behind and trim off the straggler and that would be how you complete that